In this problem, we have some diagrams of figures that maybe are quadrilaterals. They look like quadrilaterals. Uh, they seem to all have four sides. Um, and we have to decide if they, which categories they fit in. Do they fit in the quadrilateral category? Do they fit in the parallelogram category? Do they fit in the rectangle category? And we've been learning a little bit about some of these properties. Uh, here's this diagram we started with a few days ago. To be a quadrilateral, you just have to be a polygon with four sides. A parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides that are to the same length, and then it's got these other properties. Uh, those opposite sides uh, are congruent, as I mentioned. Then the opposite angles are congruent. The consecutive angles add up to 180. Uh, these alternate interior angles formed by a diagonal are congruent. And then the diagonals bisect each other. That's uh, all of the properties uh, we've been talking about about parallelograms. And then, of course, a rectangle, which is a type of parallelogram, which so it has all those properties, also has all 90-degree angles. Uh, so let's take a look now and see if we can make some decisions. First off the bat, all of these are polygons. They all have four sides, so I'm just going to check quadrilateral for each one. And then let's, let's look at these carefully. Uh, you know, A and B look almost identical, except that there's something wrong about diagram A. Usually, if this were going to be a parallelogram uh, or a rectangle, which is a type of parallelogram, you'd see that the diagonals bisect each other. So you'd have markings that showed each half of a diagonal was the same. In this diagram, we have the markings that show parts from the different diagonals being the same. So this is not the markings you'd see in a parallelogram. So I don't think we can check that, and we certainly can't check rectangle if we can't check parallelogram. This one, however, we do have uh, diagonals that bisect each other. Two hash marks on this di uh, each side of this diagonal, one on each side of this diagonal. So this looks like it's enough to be a parallelogram. And although it might look like a rectangle, there's nothing in the diagram that shows that. So this could be just a slightly skewed uh, th thing where we can't really tell it's a parallelogram, but it is. So unless we see some markings about angles, we're not going to uh, go to the idea that this is a rectangle. All right, and this one. So we do have markings of angles here, and this mark means that all four of these angles are the same. And because they're all the same, they have to be 90 degree angles because there are four of them. So this is a rectangle. And if it's a rectangle, it is also a parallelogram because all rectangles are par parallelograms. So in this case, we would check all three. So that's a little bit of work with quadrilaterals.